Hey, 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 it's me, Meet Bagman, Merkin Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. And today I want to talk about the, the strikes that just occurred in Syria. Uh, this is very disturbing. This is very, um, yeah, very disturbing. Uh, but I don't know, I don't know if this is necessarily a bad thing entirely. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to Trump, my personal position is that uh, uh, he really is not to be absolutely trusted. Um, but he's done a lot of like good things since he's been uh, president. Um, but with the with this Syrian attack, it's almost like okay, so there's a chemical weapons attack that happens, and Trump goes and orders airstrikes. Now I took a look at the apparently there were three sites that were targeted. Uh, two of them were on the western side of Syria, and they were just like storage facilities. Um, and one of them was in Damascus, and it was a uh, a military a military building that was supposedly studying the uh, the uh, chemical weapons. It was a, their their secret chemical weapon program. Now the deal is that uh, I took a look at the photos, the before and afters, and I got to tell you, it was. Uh, this stuff looked pretty surgical. Um, I mean, there, there was a site that was hit where you had the before and after photos, and it was like uh, the damage that was done was realistically like maybe 30 feet wide, you know, in a circle. Boom. That's, that's how, it, how it happened. It wasn't uh, massive. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't spectacular. And in one of the photos, it looks like it actually missed the target because it looks like it hit the side of a hill or something. But the U.S. government says that uh, the generals say that they, they hit all the targets. So good for them. But ultimately, I'm concerned about the fact that we're striking at them without any evidence that they did something wrong. Now, my half of my suspicion is is that there is that the, is that Syria hasn't actually abandoned their chemical weapons program like they claim to have uh, done. And so the the strikes were three sites, like two of them were kind of out in the middle of nowhere, um, and one of them was in the heart of Damascus. But but all the buildings that are surrounding this particular facility, I mean, this facility is like leveled to basically dust as their chemical weapons facility. Let me pull up the, uh, the article here, see if I can find it. Um, yeah. I can't find it, but it was in the middle of Damascus. And, uh, and if you take a look at the buildings surrounding it, it's like they're untouched. It's not like, you know, they're hitting I mean, this building is, like, located in the middle of, like, downtown Damascus, practically. And you see all the other buildings, and they look like they're just not even touched. But this one's just leveled to rubble. Um, it's pretty impressive to see, uh, considering the, the, the scale and the quality of, of the damage that was done, like, in the, and how contained it actually was. Uh, I was pretty impressed to see it. Um, so... As of yet, I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of uh, reserving judgment, kind of reserving judgment on him. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. We'll see how everything turns out. But um, not optimistic. But you know, I'm just feeling it out. Just like the rest of us. All right. This has been Meek Bagman, Mercury Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Thank you.